Debris found in Seychelles was not from MH370. Good afternoon, I'm Annette Christie. You're watching News on 2. The Malaysian Department of Civil Aviation, DCA, says the two pieces of debris found in Seychelles recently are not from Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Its Director General Dr. Sri Azharuddin Abdul Rahman said in a statement yesterday that the MH370 investigation team had carried out assessments of the photographs and confirmed that the pieces of debris were not from a Boeing 777 or Rolls-Royce engine. He also thanked the Seychelles Civil Aviation Authority, SCAA, for its cooperation. The SCAA had said that scientists researching birds and turtles had found debris washed up on Farqua, one of the islands that make up the tropical Indian Ocean nation. A senior SCAA official had told Reuters that the direction of flow of the sea currents make it likely that the debris came from the general direction where other parts of MH370 have been found in Indian Ocean countries. Michael Payet, a spokesman for the state agency that manages all Seychelles islands, said the largest of the two bits of debris was about 120 centimetres long and 30 centimetres wide and and appeared to be made of aluminium and carbon fibre. A rabies vaccination campaign for pet dogs will be held at four locations in Syrian town today and tomorrow to encourage pet owners to get their dog vaccinated in an effort to curb the spread of rabies outbreak in the area. Now, according to Sarawak Disaster Management Committee Secretariat, the vaccination campaign to be held at a bubble going hall, Syrian Community Hall, Syrian Veterinary Office and Syrian District Council would run from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. All dog owners in Syrian town, especially those living in nearby housing areas and villages, are required to bring along their dogs for the vaccination conducted by the Sarawak Veterinary Services Department, GPVS, and Sarawak Veterinary Association. Since the vaccination campaigns were launched in Syrian, weeks after the rabies virus was detected, three children had died of the disease, while another is still in critical condition at the Sarawak General Hospital. Between April 1st and now, the department have managed to detect 263 cases of dog bites within 10 kilometres of the epidemic area in Syrian. 52 of the cases are new ones, which happened from July 2nd until recently, and 197 of the cases have been vaccinated. Meanwhile, JPVS has urged everyone, especially residents in the affected areas, to contact the operation room at 082 621 949 or 611 607 to report if they notice their pets, especially dogs and cats, behaving strangely. Victims of online business fraud should come forward to facilitate investigations on purchasing and selling sites found to have deceived consumers. Deputy Communications and Multimedia Minister Dr. Jailani Johari said most of the victims were ashamed to come forward and report the fraud to the authorities. Dato Jailani called on those who have been victims to these online scams to immediately report any fraud directly to the police in order to facilitate efforts of the police and the Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission, MCMC, to act on these fraud-related online sites. He said two sites that were blocked recently were upon the request of the police. For an online trading site to operate, he said, it should comply and be subjected to the Consumer Protection Electronic Trade Transactions Regulations, which came into force on July 1, 2013. According to a local newspaper report, so far an estimated 30,000 complaints were received by the Malaysian Islamic Consumers Association in connection with online sales portal fraud. The processing of applications for the temporary resident identity card, MyCars, was halted temporarily at the Tower branch of the National Registration Department, JPN, yesterday when thousands of people stormed the office to apply for permanent resident status. Now, it happened after news went viral on WhatsApp since Thursday that MyCars holders could now apply for PR status. 
Sabah NRD Deputy Director Adrian Allen Richard said the large number of people who turned up at the office as a result of the inaccurate information disrupted operations at the Tawau NRD office located at the Urban Transformation Center UTC. As a result, he said, the MyCast application for children whose citizenship status was not verified in their birth certificate had to be suspended for the time being. He added, JPN will continue processing the MyCast applications at the Tawau office when the situation permits. MyCast is issued since May 2015 to children aged 12 whose citizenship status is not stated in their birth certificate. The card is, however, valid for only five years. The situation yesterday also caused inconvenience to other government departments operating at UTC. That last item concludes this afternoon's edition of News on 2. News on 2 will be back at 7pm with more updates this evening. Stay tuned to TV2. I'm Annette Christie. Have a great weekend.